Well, here we have two functions, and what we're going to do, we're going to uh, evaluate the composite of these two functions. So, what if we evaluate um, f of g of, uh, say, 2? And then the question is, well, what do you mean by that? Well, what this means is f of g of 2. And we know f is, so f of whatever equals whatever plus 5. So whatever we put here, we must put there. And by the way, before we go too far, let's find g of 2. And will you agree g of 2 equals 4 minus 2 squared, which is 4 minus 4, which equals 0. So g of 2 equals 0. So I'm going to put a g of 2 in here, but g of 2 is 0, so I'll just put 0 there for g of 2, and 0 here. And what we get back is 5. So therefore, f of g of 2 equals 5. Well, let's do another one of these, because I'm sure you're still a little foggy on this. How about g of f of uh, 1? So this is going to equal g of f of 1. Well, it'll be helpful to know what f of 1 is. So f of whatever, or f of 1 equals, and let's see, equals, in place of x, we put a 1 plus 5, which equals 6. So now we know f of 1 equals 6, so we're talking about g of whatever equals 4 minus whatever squared. And in place of f of 1, we'll put 6. So I'll put a 6 here. If I put a 6 there, I must put a 6 there. And so now we have 4 minus, and 6 squared is 36. And that equals negative 32. So therefore, uh, g of f of uh, 1 equals negative 32. Well, now let me go a little farther with this. And by the way, I want to circle these answers. Let me go a little farther with this and uh, Evaluate f of g, oh, excuse me, f of, that's good, f of g of x. Well, this is going to equal f of whatever equals whatever, in place of the x, I put parentheses, plus 5. Now, if I put a g of x here, then I have to put a g of x there. But this equals g of x happens to be 4 minus x squared, and we still have this plus 5 here. So that equals 4 minus x squared plus 5, which equals 9 minus x squared. And we're done. That's what f of g of x equals. Good.